right, so as I said in my previous video, my last video, I will be starting all my videos off with a video song of the day. All right, so my video song is Miguel Adorn. I love Miguel. And I just say his name like that. You know, people say, oh, Miguel. No, Miguel. Say it with me, Miguel. <laughs> I love him. He's so cute. He reminds me of Prince. And everybody say, oh, he's, he, he looks like he's a little gay. No. He's just a little eccentric, you know, if that's the word that we are using these days. He's eccentric. Um, definitely, definitely love Miguel. All right, well, Miguel. <laughs> All right, so today we are going to do a DIY project. Who's excited? I'm excited. Okay, so for this project, you'll actually just need one, two, three, four items. Well, five items, actually, all together. All right. So we're going to be doing another idea on place card holders. These are wine themed place card holders. All right. So the things that you will need is you'll need um, little tweezers, the metal tweezers, you know, the kit that I have. I always meant to show you guys this kit. I got this kit from, of course, say it with me. Michaels <laughs> I got this kit from Michaels in the jury department um, so that's probably why it has all these little pockets in the back so you can like store things um, but in the front it came with four tools it came with a set of tweezers that I cannot find um, it came with a set of uh, kind of like um, flathead kind of so it came with a flat grabber I don't even know the name of these things. I just call them whatever I want to call them. So, flat grabbers, pinchy pinchies, <laughs> and snippies. All right. So, what you'll need for this project is your grabby grabbies and your snippy snippies. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay. You'll need those two items, and you will need your. You'll need your wire, preferably floral wire, 22 gauge uh, floral wire. Um, I don't even know where my, as you can tell, I'm not prepared for this vitia. It's just not prepared for the vitia. Uh, but you'll basically need a 22 inch uh, floral wire to green it's usually at our favorite store in the world michael's or any craft store um and you'll need about three inches of that and you'll need a corkscrew now please don't talk about me i'm not an alcoholic um if i was i would be the first to admit it and i'm not afraid of admitting <laughs> but um I'm actually collecting corkscrews for a project that I am doing and I could do a video on it if you guys want but for the last couple of maybe actually a year I've been thinking about doing a cork board because I have a lot of necklaces a lot of uh, jewelry that I would love to display but I really don't have anywhere to display it so um, I'm making a cork board this is the back side because you can tell because it has more glue. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a cork. Like it's going to keep going around and around and around until it gets to a good size. And then I got to re-glue that. It's going to get to a good size and then we're going to get push pins. And then I'm going to hang my necklaces from them. So if you guys want to see a video on that, please let me know uh, down at the bottom. Just comment and let me know you want to see that video. So what we're going to do for this project is we're going to use one single corkscrew. This one is a wood bridge corkscrew. Now, this one is, um, if you guys are into wine or wine connoisseurs, um, you'll know that there's two different types of corkscrews. There is the wooden corkscrews, and there are the, I say they're plastic, but they're basically, you know, kind of one of those that you can't just pop it. You know, like these wooden ones, you could kind of break them in half. But these are like the plastic corkscrews. And I love these corkscrews more than I do... Um, 
actual corkscrews because you know if you're like me you know maybe four years ago i didn't know how to open a wine a bottle of wine with a wine key or a wine opener so i would always wind it all the way down to the middle pop it open and there'll be cork flowing in my wine and of course i would still drink it but <laughs> it was just like oh my god you know so okay you'll need and you guys know me i get easily distracted i start talking about other things but okay so you'll need um one corkscrew and you'll need that wire all right so i'm gonna show you basically how to twist it so the top of this as you can see is already twisted and it's in a circular motion so which a circle so what you want to do is try to get the tip top of it all the way bent into itself only because that little piece at the end is very sharp okay so for the next circle you want to do you want to just grab this and twist it around and just try to get it in a, as best of a circle as you can. It does not have to be perfect. That's one thing I believe in crafts. If you're a crafter, it does not have to be perfect. Unless it's something like crochet or, you know, something of that nature. It does not have to be the perfect, the most perfect thing in the world. Alright? So, your end result of your wire will look like this so you just turn turn until you get a complete circle all right now what you want to do with the cork is you want to try to get the wire pushed into the cork okay now as you can see with these ones it is a wine key or a corkscrew already opened this one all right so in Sometimes you'll get it at the bottom, but your best bet is to use the side, and I dropped it. Use the side of the cork, use the side of the wire, and it's funny because my carpet is green and this wire is green, so it'll probably take me years to find that. <laughs> but you want to push your, you want to push your wire into that same hole that the wine key was in. All right, so you might have a couple of issues with it only because, you know, I guess this cork is not used to things being pushed in. And, you know, a wine key is very tough and very strong. You know, the piercing putting the wine key in can be very, very strong. So we can definitely take a little bit of oomph. Say that with me. Oomph. Take a little bit of oomph to get that wire in and please be careful for the sides because if this turns inside of there it can possibly come through the sides and that end is very sharp okay so you'll have whatever design you have at the top which this one is kind of turning into a heart it might be just me but that kind of looks like a heart you think I think all right so the next thing that you'll need now this is your place card holder now the next thing that you'll need is a piece of paper that displays the per person's name it'll say Peter Paul Samantha Nancy Quinn whatever the person's name is it'll say that and then it will go right into It'll go right into the top of the place card holder. And this will be your nameplate. So basically what you'll do is, I'm going to grab you, come with me. <laughs> what you're going to do is sit it on the table. Let's say this is the table. Let's say this is the table because there's a little bit more light over here. You'll sit it on the table, and that will go right in front of the person. So if you're having wine, cheese, crackers, whatever the plate, the case may be, this will very, this will go with the table very well. Especially if you have like a bottle of wine in the middle. If you're having a wine taster, 
you know, a tasting party, this will definitely kind of up your ante because it's homemade, it's real cute, and it will, you know, have people thinking like, oh, how did you make this? This is very nice. This is very interesting. So, honestly, I can't take the credit for this idea. My aunt, who I've talked about in the uh, thrifting video, she actually got the idea from, I'm not sure, but I kind of created the idea, but she, what she wanted to do was actually slit the wine corks down the middle and then put the name in them and have it singing out. And I said, well, maybe we can do something with that wire. So, um, if you guys have any comments, concerns, or questions, please leave them at the bottom. Let me know you were here. Just say hello. It could be, why do you always wear your hair like that in your videos? Just let me know you were here. All right. Talk to you guys later. And peace, peace.